Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyprusus. In today's video, we will be discussing about past data check in Odoo 18. In Odoo, checks that are issued with a future date are known as past data checks. This implies that they are not refundable until the designated date. They are often employed for a number of purposes like delayed payments, etc. If a customer provides a check to our company for a future date, then the check is considered as a past data check, that is PDC. There is no default functionality to handle PDC in Odoo, but this feature can be accomplished using journal. So in this video, we will learn how to handle and manage past data check in Odoo 18, and we can create a new journal record, I mean, to record the PDC transaction for post data check transaction. So moving on to the accounting module, we can see, we can just manage the journals from the configuration menu. Under the configuration, we can find a section called accounting where we can just choose the journals. So this would allow you to create and manage new journals. Here you can find all the created journals with the journal name, type, short code, and default account. By default, the journals will be having the list view and you can also switch between Kanban view. This view also allows you to create new journal. Now let me switch back to the default view, which is list. And upon clicking on new button, actually you can fill out the details and create a new journal. As we are just dealing with the past data check, I have already created a past data check journal over here. That is, I have given the name of the journal as check. So as you just provide the name of the journal as check, you have to choose a type as bank. And afterwards, when you save the journal, and accounting informations will be automatically configured over here. So under the accounting information, you can find the bank account, which is check. So as you just get into the internal link, you can see that the check will be having a type as bank and cash that will be having a balance of zero right now because we have not with any transaction. Now in this case, you can also find the suspense account and the suspense account will be having a type as current asset. Now moving on to the other account, the profit and loss account. You can see the profit account that is a cash difference gain will be having an income account as a type and the loss account will be having, an. Um, I mean uh, the loss account will be used to mark the expenses and that will be having a type as expense over here. Afterwards, you can also find the dedicated payment sequence and the short code. So it's given as BNK2. Now when you just want the incoming Payment here you can see that we have to choose a payment method as manual and we also just need to provide the outstanding uh, receipt account. As you just get into the internal link of the account here you can see the type of the account that is current as it. Likewise we also just need to set the outgoing payment and in this case we can just set the payment method as manual as well as the outstanding payment account uh, over here. So either you can choose the type of the account as current as it or liability. So once that's done, you can just move on uh, to the customer invoices and let's see how can we use the PDZ for a customer invoice. So in order to do so, you can just move on to the customer invoices and under the customer invoices, we have to create a customer invoice. Click on new button in order to create the invoice and we have to fill out the details of the customer. I would like to choose the customer over here as uh, Jitu. So I'll be providing the details over here. And after, uh, afterwards, we have to provide the invoice date uh, as today and the future date as of uh, the future date. So in this case, you can see the due date is given as uh, today's date. Now let me change it into future date. And we just need to uh, add the product over here. So I'm going to choose a product uh, over here, which is corner desk, writes it. And you can see the cost is 147. And I'm going to set the quantity as uh, 10. And you can see the amount is uh, 1470. Now what we have to do is that we have to confirm the order. So once the order, I mean, once the invoice is confirmed you can see that the invoice will be moving from draft state to the postured state and when you just move on to the reporting here uh, we can find uh, the general ledger and we can find all the reportings of here okay so as we just move on to the receivable side uh, simply account receivable you will be able to find uh, the amount that is uh, created or the transaction that is created 
uh, over here and now what we have to do is we have to create a payment for this now let me create a new payment and when we create a payment uh, under the customer payment the payment type will be automatically configured as receive because it's a customer payment but if you're just going to chew, uh, do a um, pdc for uh, um, vendor payment then the type will be set as sent now in this case we have to choose a customer that is uh, Jitu R uh, Jacob and here we have to set the amount so the amount is 1470 and afterwards we have to set the due date uh, that is the date of future because we are just managing a past data check right and we have to provide the memo as PDC once everything is done, we also just need to ensure that we have provided the proper journal. As we are just dealing with the check, we have to provide the journal as check over here. Now we can simply click on confirm so that the customer payment will be moving from draft state to the in process. Now when you just move on to the journal entry, you can also find the journal entry which is under the uh, PDC receivable as well as under account receivable. Now. Uh, and uh, now you can just validate the process by clicking on validate this will uh, switch the, the in process into paid state now what we have to do is again let's move on to the general, general ledger and you can see under the PDC uh, receivable we can find uh, the amount that is created so con currently you can see the transaction that is created under the debit side now let's move on to the partner ledger so under the partner ledger also you can find that there will be two entry one is created for the invoice and other is created for the pdc so you can find the invoice date as well as the future date is given with the amount uh, 1470 under the credit side and debit side respectively now let's move on to the customer invoices that we have recently created and we just need to add this pdc so under the invoice we can find the outstanding credit and we just need to add the pdc so you can click on add pdc and the future date will be added over here now we just need to do the reconciliation process so as you just add the uh, pdc here you can see that uh, currently it is in in payment state in order to move this into the paid state we have to do the reconciliation so in this case uh, we can just move to the dashboard and we can find the journal now we have to set up the transaction so in order to set up the transaction statement click on new button where you can find the date that is given as well as you just need to choose the uh, person that is uh, Jitu R Jacob and you just need to set the amount that is 1470 right afterwards we also just need to set the PDC as the memo now you can simply click on add and close and you can see everything over here now uh, let me uh, just go with uh, the uh, statements over here so you would be able to find uh, the uh, payment um, over here so this is a statement and this is the payment and we have to validate this uh, okay so once it's done you can see currently it's matched and as you just move on to the customer invoices you can see it will be moving to the paid state now likewise we can also manage the pdc for winter bills in order to manage the PDC for vendor bills, what we have to do is first we have to create a vendor bill over here. So in this case, you can see that the vendor bill, I'm going to choose the customer over here as someone new. Let's say the uh, wood corner and we have to set the bill date as of today and uh, the accounting date as of the future date. So I'll be setting the accounting date as a future date and uh, uh, that is the due date. Okay. So once that's done, the next step is that we have to choose a product. So I'm going to choose a storage box as a product to put a uh, 10 quantity over here. And you can see the amount will be 140. Okay. Now what we have to do is again confirm so that the bill will be moving from the draft state to the posture state. Now what we have to do is we just need to uh, create the payment. When you just create the payment, you can see that as we are just dealing with the uh, creation of the payment uh, for rentable the type will be set as uh, uh, sent and you can choose the vendor over here which is good corner and you can set the amount which is uh, 140 and we just need to provide the future date so I'm going to set the future date over here and we have to provide the memo as PDC and later on choose the journal over here so I'm going to choose the journal as check afterwards let's click on confirm and you can simply click on confirm so that it will be moving to the in process state and upon clicking on validate this will be moving to the paid state and we just need to add this under the customer 
uh, I mean under the winter bills. So as you just move on to the general ledger here, under the uh, PDC payable, you can find the transaction that is created for the wood corner. And as you just move on to the partner ledger, you can also find that uh, under the wood corner, two transactions will be created. One will be for the uh, bill date and the other will be for the future date, that is for the PDC. Now, we just need to add this PDC under the bill. So, in order to do that, we have to choose the bill again and here we have the option to add the PDC. So, we have added the PDC and the date is uh, automatically, I mean, uh, added over here. Now, we just need to do the reconciliation because currently it is in, in payment state. In order to do so, we again, we have to move on to the check and now click on transaction and let's create a new uh, statement. So for that, you can just click on new and set the future date, which is 28 and choose a partner that is wood corner. So let me choose a partner over here. Afterwards, let's set the amount. So as we are just dealing with the winter bill, we have to set the negative amount and we need to provide uh, the memo as PDC. And click on add and close and that's added over here and let's choose the statement that has uh, created and we have to choose the statement against the payment and click on validate. And currently it's maxed and as you just move on to the winter bills and you can see that currently it's paid. So this is how we just manage with the PDZ in Odoo 18 accounting module. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cybrosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.